Like a shepherd, I will feed you. I will gather you with care. I will lead you and hold you close to my heart. He will run and not grow weary, for our God will be our strength, and we will find like the eagle, we will rise again. I am strength to the weary, to the weak I am new life, for the young with which, out of love for the world, 
Your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and the fullness of redemption. From out of the depths I cry unto St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Whoever believes in me, even if he 
sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was ill. So the sister sent word to Jesus saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, this illness is not to end in death but it is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of the world. But if one walks at night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. He said this, and then told them, our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death, while they thought he meant ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus has died, and I am glad for you that I was not there that you may believe. Let's go to him. So Thomas, called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into this world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, secretly saying, The teacher is here and asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him. For Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were, who were with her in the house comforting her, saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, 
he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of this crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary had seen what he had done and began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. gospel is all about hope. And our gospel this morning is the last of a series of lessons about the signs and wonders that Jesus performed to show us that he really is the Son of God. Last Sunday, we heard the story about the man born blind. And Jesus put mud in his eyes and then asked the man to go to the pool to wash his eyes. And when he did that, his eyes were opened and he could see. Jesus gave him the gift of sight, allowing the blind man to see, to see that Jesus is the Son of Man. And today, we have the story of Lazarus, the brother of Martha and Mary, close friends of Jesus. But because of Martha and Mary's faith in Jesus' divinity, Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead, foreshadowing Jesus' own resurrection, which we will celebrate in just two weeks on Easter Sunday. When we listen carefully to the dialogue between Martha and Jesus, we can discover what gives us hope. In this dialogue, Martha says, Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask God, he will give you. Today's gospel is a lesson of faith and a lesson of hope, knowing who Jesus really is. And this is a timely and comforting lesson for us today considering what is happening in the world around us right now. The global coronavirus pandemic may cause some of us to become frightened, and we might be afraid that we may become infected. Yet in all of this, the Lord gives us and our families the opportunity to grow stronger in our faith. And we can use this opportunity to grow closer to Christ, to be, to be reassured that the Lord loves us and protects us always. I'd like to borrow a few words from Pope Francis's homily from just two days ago, a homily that he delivered while all alone in a very empty St. Peter's Square. And I quote, 
Embracing Jesus' cross means finding the courage to embrace all the hardships of the present time, abandoning for a moment our eagerness for power and possessions in order to make room for the creativity that only the Spirit is capable of inspiring. It means finding the courage to create spaces where everyone can recognize that they are called and to allow new forms of hospitality, fraternity, and solidarity. By his cross, we have been saved in order to embrace hope and let it strengthen and sustain all measures and all possible avenues for helping us to protect ourselves and others. Embracing the Lord in order to embrace hope, that is the strength of faith, which frees us from fear and gives us hope. We have a good reason to have hope, because no matter what happens, no matter what happens with this virus or anything else, as faithful Catholic Christians, we are reassured by Christ's promise of eternal life. And our challenge is to always remember that no virus, no disease, no worldly calamity can possibly do anything to take Christ's promise away from us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear friends, we now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God for true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial of the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came out of heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has, who has spoken, spoken from the prophets. prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism with the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the life-giving power of the Spirit, we lift up our prayers and petitions to our Father in heaven. That all leaders and members of the Church may be graced with the guidance and wisdom of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That world leaders may be helped by God in putting aside selfish agendas and seek justice and equality for the people under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those who are in mourning may be consoled by God in their grief and made confident in the hope of resurrection for their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That all the members of the faith community may receive the mercy of God for themselves <clears throat> and with his help Offer it to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead and all those who have died may know the joy and fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are stricken with the coronavirus and any other disease, 
that the Lord be with them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Merciful Father, with humble confidence, we ask you to hear these prayers, which, which we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yeah. watching on the live stream today, this would be the time where we would normally pass the basket and take up a collection. If you are able, I know these are challenging and difficult times, and as they are for St. Norbert Parish as well. If you are able to, to uh, hit that booking, um, what the, what's it called? Book Now. Book Now on the top of our Facebook page, that'll take you right to our donations uh, website. Or you can make a donation to St. Norbert Church. If you don't want to click on that, you can go to stnorbertchurch.org and hit the donate basket right there on there and, and give electronically. If you are a, one who usually gives by envelope, you can put that in the mail to us or you can drive by and drop it through the mail slot of the, of the, of the center, ministry center at some point during uh, the day. I appreciate your support and, and, and support of uh, this parish community of St. Norbert. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Church. Help, hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb. Just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. <laughs>
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, Timothy and Tom, his brother bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
to my reception of the body and the blood of our Savior, I will pray with you a spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and, as, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thanks be to God. God.